Yes, indeed. Thank you so much, Tabi. So now joining us now, Mzanzi, is the great TV personality and entrepreneur, the one and only Momez in the house. Welcome to the show. Hey, thank you for having me. You look so beautiful. Gabo, <laughs> because one thing about you, you came to slay. I'm loving the two-piece. Thank you. Before we get into all things Mome mm -hmm. and your look, your style, and just what you bring to the table, mm -hmm. I just want to say congratulations on your book. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It is not a small feat being an author, being being able to put pen to paper and just writing and let it all run out. Can you just tell us a little bit about the book and what it's all about? Um, okay, the book, it's called Mome's Depth of Black Love, right? Uh, the reason being um, why I named it that, it's because um, this black love, it's, it's, a, it's a trend now through pictures, yeah. you know. Uh, but I just feel like I'm a 2000, they won't relate because it's black love on Instagram. But we don't know what we're talking about, mm. you know. So I just felt like, okay, let's just go into the depth of black love. You know, um, and it was also a journey of healing for me because it took me three and a half years to write this book and I co-wrote it with a pastor, you know. And the reason being, um, addressing certain black community issues mm. that are sensitive, you know, that I want someone to read to heal. I want mm. someone to read to understand, you know, certain things in marriage, certain things that happen in black love yeah. that we don't speak about because um, it's a myth. Like, you can't talk to you. I completely get that. Do you get what I'm and saying? And especially because a lot of us within the black community, we don't have those, like, couples to look up to, the real couple goals that you speak of. So I think that it's so informative, number one, that you even thought to put pen to paper about such a passionate topic. But number two, the fact that you co-authored it, or co-wrote it rather, with a pastor, being able to just get that intel and that, and that insight from a, a, a spiritual leader, mm -hmm. I think is so powerful. Because at the same time, I'm addressing uh, spiritual issues, like black spiritual issues, you know, like how we go through our callings, how it affects our relationships, you know, things yeah. that we don't normally sit down and discuss, mm -hmm. you know. Very important. Now, not only is uh, black love important to you, mm -hmm. but you have taken such an incredible journey into the space of wellness, into the space of healing, I suppose, mm -hmm. is a common theme mm -hmm. in your life. Mm -hmm. uh, so much so mm -hmm. that you have decided to bring to life such an incredible brand, which is Mrs. Mome Wellness. Thank I mean, you. tell us all Thank about you. it so much so that you've even got some products here. I brought some of them, <laughs> uh, but these are their favorites, actually. That's why I brought these Yes. Ones. Uh, Mome Wellness is a brand that I started from pain, I should say that, you know. Um, sure. I experienced a stroke, I think, 10 days after my daughter was born, right? But for me, I've always been a fitness person, but I didn't understand the difference between being well and being fit, mm. you know? And just learning from that, that's when I realized that actually some days, even if we want to lose weight, it takes us forever because we're not using products that heal us from mm. the inside. Mm -hmm. Do you mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? Yep. And it actually started with one product, which was the tonic, you know. Um, this uh, uh, Slim Fit Tonic. Yeah. I'm going to grab it. It was the oh. first, first product which I started with a, uh, five years ago, which you take two tablespoons in the morning, two tablespoons in the evening. The one thing about it is that it speeds your metabolism, it yeah. increases your energy while it absorbs unnecessary body fat. I see that, girl, you are really putting your money where your mouth is. Increased, me increased metabolism, mm -hmm. reduced fat absorb absorption, mm -hmm. and boosts energy. Mm -hmm. I need this in my life, okay? I do. <laughs> Trust me, also for energy, not just for weight. I love that. And what else did you bring along with you? I've got a shake. And our shake is actually made out of sorghum. Sorghum, which is good for your health, you know that. Yeah. And mixed with moringa, you can imagine. You can have it as a soup in the morning. My husband calls it a, a food blocker because <laughs> when you have it as a break, as your porridge in the morning, yeah. you don't necessarily snack whatever or eat whatever. So it also helps with, um, with, with your appetite. Right, exactly. And also, it helps you limit eating too much sugar, sweet stuff, things like that. You can have it also as a shake and a porridge. 
So when you did come up with these uh, range of products mm. for yourself, what were you hoping, not only your fans, but some of our viewers that are watching, what, how do you want this to implement or impact their healthy lifestyles? You know what, I'd like for people to understand, as I was saying, that there's a difference between being fit and mm. being well, you know? I think now we are at a point where we need to understand the food we eat, how much nutrition is in what we eat, you know? Mm -hmm. We're at a point where now we don't just eat because we are hungry, we eat to heal. Mm -hmm. Like she's eating her grapes now, that time is gone to eat because you just want a snack. We eat to heal, like find food that has good nutrition, number one, you know, and food that also heals the body inside. So know. we've already ticked the box of Black Love and mm. your book. <laughs> we've ticked the box of your product. You also have, and very passionate, about your mental health program. Why did you start it and what's it all about? We speak about mental health, but I don't really think we understand how to practice protecting our mental health, yeah. you understand? Because when we speak of mental health, we speak of your emotions, your mental state, your spirituality, mm -hmm. like all these things put together, you need to balance them. Yeah. Because you can be fit, but trust me, when you are not spiritually balanced, you will not be mentally healthy. There is a because complete there will imbalance. Always, you understand what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So it's like the food you eat, there's food that blocks your brain. So how do you then, uh, how are you then able to think further? Because you eat food that actually weakens your brain, mm. like food that's got too much sugar whatsoever. Mm. You understand what I'm I saying? I completely get so you, So if yeah. we start learning those things instead of talking about them, we speak mental health, but what are you doing to balance mm. your mental health, you know? You find yourself being this person in a relationship because you are not healthy okay. mm. yourself. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm so here for this conversation, and I think that we, me and you can sit down and talk forever. <laughs> but just shortly, I mean, today's mm. show is all about confidence. Yes. How have you been able to transform your confidence in, like, three words it, throughout your entire journey? Just by being me. Oh, and just like that. <laughs> That's it. I love that. And just we love you. We're so obsessed with you. We cannot oh, wait to spend the entire you. hour with you. Thank you guys for having me. I can't wait to eat. Yeah. Uh, one thing about this show, everybody's going to come to eat. Because ever since I've been sitting here, <laughs> people are eating. <laughs> she literally was just like, Alisa, oh, do you guys get to eat the food? I'm like, yes, queen. We get to eat the food. But do stay, stay tight. We promise we will feed <laughs> you. you. I mean, what an incredible inspiration Umome is. Thank you so, so much. But in a few minutes, We'll talk about matcha, chia seeds, and turmeric, so don't go anywhere. <laughs>